Yo, what's up, world? It's your boy, Philosco here. You know that American dude with the incredible mood wearing the EHC hat that looks mad fat? That's me. And what am I making a video about today? Well, today I am making my third installment of the 1000 Phrasal Verbs video series. This is part three, meaning if you didn't see part two and part one, well, just subscribe to this channel and you can go and find them. Now, in this video, as I give you these phrasal verbs, I will tell you whether they're separable, non-separable, slang, proper English, or transitive, intransitive, all of that stuff. And of course, I'll give you example sentences on how to use them after I give you the definition. So, let's get to them. We got 12 to get to. Let's not waste time. First one is to beat up. And what does it mean to beat someone up or to beat up someone? That means to cause them harm with physical activity. For example, punch, chop, slaps, elbows, knees, all those things, headbutt, all those things are basic tools that are used when beating someone up. Now this is separable. You can beat someone up. Someone can beat you up. You can beat Philochko up. It is separable and it's transitive as well. I can say, I beat up Jesse, or Jesse beat me up, okay? It does need an object. It needs an object, unless, well, no, it needs an object. You can also use it towards yourself. Like I said before, Jesse beat me up. Jesse beat me up. I'm the object in that case, so it's separable and it is transitive. So, one more example sentence with random names. Yesterday, Dasha was angry at Kate, so Dasha beat Kate up or Dasha beat up Kate. Either of those are fine to beat up, meaning to cause physical harm with some form of physicalness, okay? That's to beat up. Next one is to believe in, and this one is non separable Now, what does it mean to believe in someone or to believe in something? Well, there's kind of, this one kind of gets two, but I'm going to just give one because uh, I didn't prepare for two. But the main reason, the main definition for this one with believe in is basically to have faith that they will or he will succeed. So I can say, uh, my friend's going to play, he's going to try out for the basketball team. I believe in him. He's good, so I think he's going to make it. I believe in him. Not I believe him. When you believe in someone, that basically means you trust their abilities in order for them to do something. You trust their abilities and you believe they can do it. For another example, if I were going to uh, take a test to join one of the best universities in the world, my father could tell me, good luck on this test, son. I believe in you. I really think you're going to do well if you try your best. That basically means you trust in the person's abilities. Another one for believe in is kind of just literal. It's not really too much of a phrasal verb. But when you believe in something, you basically believe it's true. So you believe in God. Uh, you could believe in um, the Tooth Fairy. Believe in Santa Claus. Things like that, all right? So to believe in, this one is non-separable. And you do need an object for this one because you need something to believe in. Like I believe in it. I believe in God. I believe in the fairy. Whatever it is, okay? Next one. Next one is to bet on. And this is non-separable. Uh, and this one is transitive. So for example, I can say, uh, well, it means to basically think something is necessarily going to happen or you believe that something is so. For example, someone can say, hey, yesterday, um, your, your ex-wife cheated on you. Your wife cheated on you. I can say, I wouldn't bet on that because she was home. I know she was home. Or someone could say, hey, tomorrow um, LeBron James is going to lose the basketball game. I could say, what? Him and his team? Uh, I don't think so. I wouldn't bet on that because they're the best. I'm pretty sure they're going to win. So when you wouldn't bet on something, that basically means you don't believe it's true or you don't believe it's going to happen. Another example, I could say something like, um, so I could say, hey, Filosco, I think your channel is going to be the most popular channel in the world. I would say, that's nice, but I wouldn't bet on that because there's many channels out there with way more subscribers and viewers and views than mine. So I wouldn't bet on that, okay? So there you go. To bet on, basically to believe it is true or was true or is going to happen. That's to bet on, okay? Next one. 
there's two for this one. So this one counts as two, okay? And this one is black out. The first definition I'm giving you is non-separable. For example, the meteor in Chelyabinsk, the meteor that landed in Chelyabinsk, blacked out the entire city. What does it mean to black out in that case? Well, that means all the lights are off. The electricity is off. That's when something is blacked out. So if a meteor strikes a city and all the lights cut off and the electricity isn't working, that meteor blacked out the city. The city has been blacked out by the meteor because the meteor is so powerful. Another example, another definition for blackout, the second one is for when someone passes out, when they're just unconscious. For example, if you drink too much alcohol and you don't know your limit, you keep drinking, you keep drinking, then you go, Oh, I think I'm going to black out. And you're out. Oh, you blacked out. You fell unconscious. You basically fell asleep, some people will say, because you were so drunk. You blacked out, okay? So there's two different definitions for blackout. First one is to basically um, cause the, uh, the power outage of a city or place. And the other one is to fall unconscious or to faint or to pass out, whatever you want to call it because you had too much alcohol, okay? That's a blackout. I mean, you can also black out from other stupid things like when people hold your neck and you breathe too much. There's other ways to black out, but the most common way that I know of is from alcohol. So that was two. Next one we're gonna to go to is to block out. And this one is separable. Now, when you block something out, you're basically stopping it from entering somewhere. That's when you're blocking something out. So if someone is, uh, for example, let's say, you're a kid and someone in your school is insulting you all of the time. They're constantly insulting you. You're stupid, you're stupid, you're stupid. Well, you can cover your ears and just block it out of your mind or you can listen and just ignore it and just block it out of your mind. That means you're not letting it get in. You're not allowing it in. So someone can say, you're stupid, Filosco, you're stupid, you're stupid. But I can block it out by just thinking of other things. Hmm, let's see. Yeah, yesterday the bling chicken was good, but tomorrow's spell mini is going to be mm, amazing. So when you block something out, you're basically not letting it get in. Another example, when it's very sunny outside, when the sun is very strong, a lot of people wear dark glasses called shades. They wear dark glasses. Why? Because those dark glasses block the sun out. To block out is separable. It blocks the sun out and it's transitive, okay? So my glasses block the sun out. I don't want to see the sun that much, so my glasses, my shades, block the sun out, okay? So there you go. That's the block out. And that's what we're going to get to is to blow away. Now, I don't want to give the literal one to blow away like you, and then it's going away because it's being blown. That's too easy. I'm going to give you a different one with to blow away. Now, when you blow someone away, that means you are impressing them or you impress them very much. You have impressed them. They like something you did or they like something you are. For example, I can say, um, when I first made a video speaking Russian from America, it blew Russians away. It blew Russians away. Separable and transitive, it blew Russians away. They haven't heard many black Americans from New York, born and raised, speaking Russian. It was very rare for them and that video blew them away. They were really impressed by it. Another example. When I came to Russia, I was blown away by the size of this country. It looks big on a map, but it's even bigger when you got to take an airplane across the country or take a train across the country. I was blown away by the size. The size blew me away. I was blown away by the size completely. Okay, it just blew me away. Just like that, okay? So, to blow away basically means to impress. Next one is to blow out. And what does it mean to blow out? Well, to blow out basically means to mess up. It means to mess something up, usually by wear and tear, like using it too much or, or doing something bad to it that harms it. So for example, you may hear a lot of people say, I blew out my back yesterday, my back, I blew it out. And yes, it's separable. What does it mean if someone blew out their back? Well, that means they injured it. They injured it by putting too much stress on it. They blew it out. Or someone can blow out their ankle by putting too much stress on their ankle. You know, the ankle is near the foot. That's the ankle, Ladishka. That's when you blow it out, when you hurt it by using it too much, doing something too stressful with it. Like you blow out your back or something like that. You just stressed it too much and it doesn't work. Same thing with, let's say, your pants. Let's say you're getting really fat, really, really fat, and you're, you're stitching 
on your pants starts ripping. Your pants start ripping because you're getting so fat. So I can say, whoa, 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 you're getting too big. You're blowing out the stitches on your pants. You're blowing out the buttons too. The buttons are about to pop. You're destroying it. You're messing it up. So that's another definition for blowout. That's the main one that I'm teaching here. It means to destroy or to mess up when you blow something out, usually because of too much stress, okay? Now, two more. Next is to blow up. Now, we all know what it means to blow something up. Now, when you blow something up, you're basically exploding it. That's when you blow something up. It's exploding, like from a bomb or something. That's blowing something up. So, for example, sentence, um, the nuclear bomb blew cities in Japan up. They blew Hiroshima up, uh, atomic bombs, whatever bombs they were. I just know they were scary as hell and big. So that's the best example I get. When something is blown up or you blow something up, it's a big explosion and this explosion caused that thing to be destroyed, okay? So now to the next and last one. Next and last one is to bounce back. So bounce back is non-separable, but what does it mean to bounce back? Well, this means to recover. It means to recover. So for example, let's say um, I'm a millionaire and I have a million dollars, but then I get married and my wife divorces me and now I only have $500,000 but I want to be a millionaire. So I start up another business and I'm back at a hundred, uh, and I'm back at one million dollars. If someone asks me, hey, how's your money situation since your wife took a lot of your money? I can say, oh, I bounced back. I bounced back. I'm at a million dollars once again. So when you bounce back, you recover. Plain and simple. To bounce back means to recover. Uh, it's not, it's intransitive and you don't need to separate it. It is non-separable. Actually, you can't separate it, okay? So let me go over the 10. I will pronounce them for you to make sure you know how they're pronounced. You have, oh, boy, boy, wrong list. You have, wrong list again. You have to beat up, believe in, bet on, black out, black out, block out, blow away, blow out, blow up, and bounce back. Okay, so there's your new 12. We'll have another 12 in a few days. So that's the end of the episode for today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you learned new stuff. So to add me, vk.com slash Velosco. That's me. And subscribe to my YouTube page to see all of my videos. I also have an Instagram. You can follow me on there with my crazy little videos and pictures and all that stuff. And check the links in the description if you'd like to attend my online group lessons. And even if you want to buy an EHC hat, all that information is below. So, you know what the guy says at the end of my videos. See you guys later. And don't be racist. <laughs> so don't be ra That is his catchphrase, the don't